Hello, this will be the first in a series of videos in which I do uh, math equations of things I'm learning in class. Um, this is both to help me and to help others who might find some difficulty in the subject. I know, I know I sure do. So lately in linear algebra, we've been learning about finding the distance from y to a span u1, u2, uh, basically finding the shortest distance you would get from a y to a span in subspace or a span in a subspace or something along those lines. If anyone could watch this video um, notice any mistakes in terminology that I make or any computation or errors as well, I am more than welcome to such criticism. Uh, I believe it can only help me, it can't hurt me as long as you're constructive about it um, and nice. Alright, so here we have y equals negative 1, negative 5, and 10. While our span u1, u2 is denoted by u1 is 5, negative 2, and 1, and u2 is 1, 2, and negative 1. First, one thing that I learned to do was to make sure that u1, u2 are in the same span. Uh, the way we did it was to find the dot product between them, and if it comes up as 0, they are orthogonal to each other, and they may be in the same span. So here, so we denote it, u1, and then that, that's a comma, not a 1. And then u2, all right, we have, first we got to multiply 5 and 1, then it's going to be negative 2, and 2, let's make sure that's not negative 2, yeah, that's a 2, and then we're going to multiply 1 and negative 1 and add it all together. So first, so actually let's get it right that here, 5 times 1 is 5, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, that's minus 4, and then 1 times negative 1 is negative is minus 1, minus 1. Uh, 5 minus 4 minus 1 is equal to 0, which means that these two vectors are orthogonal to each other, and they are within the same span. All right, now we get to some more computational things, but we want to find out, what we want to solve, uh, the distance form in the end will be y, the magnitude of y minus y hat. Uh, this is going to give us the distance between from y to the span, but... We know why, and we know how to find the distance if we had uh, proper numbers, but we don't know y hat just yet. How do we find y hat? Well, as we learned in class, it's going to be, so, y hat equals y1, the dot product of y1, or in our case, just y, and u1. We're going to divide that, let's make that more clear. Uh, we're going to divide that by the dot product, the inner product of u1. I'm just going to write it there. And we're going to multiply that by, um, this is going to give us a scalar. It's going to multiply into um, our vector u. Actually, I'm just going to write down u1 for now. I'll follow all the numbers later. u1. And then we're going to add, now, the next part we're going to need is u2. Uh, it's going to be the same thing that we wrote over here. But instead of writing u1 in these areas, it's going to be u2. Uh, I'm just going to fix this y. I hope, I hope that's clear. Uh, like I said, it's going to be the first video that I do in these series. And these will become more clear over time. Um, Alright, so now we have... I'm not going to write y1. I'm just going to write y. The dot product of y and u2 divided by, by, divided by the dot product or inner product of u2 times u2. And we're going to find the sum of this, and that will give us a, y, a vector y hat. All right, so let's plug everything in. I hope this isn't too shaky. All right, so then equals. So first off, we have here the dot product of y1 and u1. Now, remember dot products. So the first part of the dot product is going to be negative 1 times 5. That's going to give us... And so that parentheses, negative 1 times 5 is going to be negative 5. And then the next part we have is negative 5 and negative 2. Uh, that multiplied with one another is going to be positive 10 plus 10. And then the last number is um, 10 times 1, which is equal to 10. Divide that by the inner product of u1. And that's going to give us 5 times 5. We know that's 25 plus uh, negative 2 times negative 2. That's 4. And 1 times 1 is 1. Multiply that by the vector u1. 5, negative 2, 1. Oh. 
Alright, sorry my arm hurts a little bit from doing this. And then we're going to add the, go back to here, the dot product of y and u2 divided by the inner product of u2 um, coming, and that will scale the vector u2. So that's going to be plus, alright, y, the first element in y is negative 1, and then that's going to be multiplied by u2's 1. So it's going to be negative 1 times 1, that's minus 1. And after that, we have negative 5 times 2, that should equal negative 10. And the last number, negative um, 1 times 10, is equal to negative 10. Divide that by the inner product of u2. Um, so 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is positive 4, and negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1. And then we're going to multiply that into a vector u2. 1, 2, minus 1. Okay? So I hope you can uh, see that alright. This is what we should have now. Uh, feel free, by the way, to uh, practice along. Um, alright, so now we're going we're gonna to add this up. This, is, this should be easy. Um, negative 5 plus 10 plus 10, that's going to be 20 minus 5. That's going to be 15. Divided by 25 plus 4 is 29 plus 1 is 30. Divided by 30, multiply that into 5, negative 2, 1. Okay, and then the uh, u2 times y part we have on top negative 1 minus 10 minus 10, that is negative 21. Divided by 4 plus 1 plus 1, that is 4, 5, 6. So we'll divide it by 6, and we're multiplying that into, oh, let me just readjust here, into u2, which, god that, damn it, uh, pardon my language, 1, 2, negative 1. Alright, now simplify, this is going to be, this is going to be 1 over 2, so I'm going to simplify it down here, 1 over 2 times the vector u1, 5, negative 2, 1, add that into, now this doesn't divide evenly, um, 6, a negative 21 is not a multiple of 6. So what we're going to do is uh, simplify as much as we can. We know they both have 3, so it's going to be negative 7 over 2. 7 divided by 2. Now since this is a negative, I like to worry about the later on. Um, I just want to get everything done and then move negatives if I have to. Or better yet, hmm. What should I do first? I'm trying to see what I have in my notes over here. What we have, hmm. Okay, we're just gonna leave that there for now. We're just gonna multiply that in there in a bit. So one, two, and minus one. Okay, so five divided by two is still, I'll just go right there. 5 over 2. Another tip, I like to draw fractions horizontally so that it, it, it looks a little bit better instead of having a number just like kind of smudged um, about it. It looks kind of ugly, just, yeah, it's just what I do. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And 1 uh, divided by 2, that is going to be 1 divided by 2. That's simple enough. We're going to add that into what we have over here. Negative, negative 7 over 2 times 1 is still negative 7 over 2. Negative 7 over 2 times 2, and the 2's cancel out, so it's just going to be negative 7. And then negative 7 over 2 times minus 1, that's going to be just regular old 7 over 2. Alright. Okay, so I don't think we need to really be moving around uh, minus symbols. No, we don't need to do that. Okay, so let's just get the, the answer of this. 5 over 2 uh, plus negative 7 over 2 or 5 over 2 minus 7 over 2. That is going to give us negative 2 over 2. We're, we'll simplify this in a little bit. Uh, negative 1 plus negative 7. That is going to give us negative 8. And then 1 over 2 plus 7 over 2. That's going to give us 8 over 2. Um, make sure you uh, keep up with your brackets. That's going to equal... Um, let's see, paper's getting kind of loose here. 
So negative one, negative eight, and ooh, just, that's not negative. That's just a four. Uh, I hope that's hope that's clear enough. I um, hope it's uh, clearly visible there. So yeah, y hat is equal to negative one, negative eight, and four. All right. Now we have the second part of our equation, uh, y hat. Now we can finally compute the distance. This is what we've been now working towards. So, well, this is going to be that's long magnitudes here. Uh, draw that. I like to draw everything out. Um, it might take a little bit longer than to just jump right into it, but it's better to take too long than to take too little. You know, you don't want to speed through everything. Okay, so y is equal to negative, neg oops, negative 1. Under that, we have negative 5, and then 10, that is y. Um, we're going to subtract y hat. Now, what, what do we get for y hat again? We got negative 1, negative 8, and 4. I'm going to write that out. Negative 1, negative 8, and 4. Okay. So, I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to make this easier for everyone watching at home. And distribute the negative that's in there. So, I'm just going to do this a little bit faster. Because I know this video is going on for a while. Uh, negative 1, negative 5, and 10. Distribute the negative. I'll make that a plus. I actually like seeing plus symbols more. Um, so, now we have there. It's going to be... 1, going down to 8, and then we have negative 4. Uh, that's a simple computation. Alright, after that we have... Doop, doop. Um, negative 1 plus 1 is going to be 0. I'll uh, just mix it with, keep up with the brackets. Negative 5 plus 8, that is 3. And finally we have 10 minus 4, which is 6. Uh, let me make sure that's what I got in my notes, and yes it is. That is... um. Now we're finally compute the magnitude. If you hopefully you remember what magnitude, uh, magnitude, length, norm, many ways you could say this, but it's uh, well, that's going to be the square root of the each of our component squared. So it's going to be zero squared. Does doesn't even matter what zero squared. Just write it out anyway, just to keep practicing. Just get the number other than zero plus three squared plus six squared. That is going to equal the square root of, not, that's going to be 9, that's going to be 36. 36 plus 9 is going to be 45, so the square root of 45. Um, if you want to simplify it, you may. Uh, this is actually the final answer, but th that can be, let's see, 9 times 5, the square root of that, and then that would be 3 times the square root of 5. All right. Now, once again, if I've made any mistakes when doing this, let me know, because I am learning this um, along with you. Or maybe if you're just looking up some math videos and uh, have a question about any of this, feel free to ask. And uh, don't forget to follow. Um, if you can, reblog, um, promote me as well. I want to become more active, and uh, yeah, it's a great way to do it. So there we go. Once again, this is the distance of y to a span, u1, u2. All right.